were out here yesterday, didn't bring the camera, so apologize for that. We just had so much going on that we didn't feel like we could video a whole lot, so we didn't bring it yesterday. Oh, all I got made was some brackets for that old cooker. Yeah, so we didn't, and we didn't get a whole lot done. Uh, it was tedious stuff, timely stuff, but he did get that in. So he got this, it's just like chicken wire, just so nothing gets in it, on it. Um, nothing gets slid on it or a clod don't go through there. And then he got those mounts. You see those, he got those as well to help hold up the weight of it. Um, so that's what we've got done in the last couple of days. I'm fixing to start working on some tires. I ground five last night, but that was just tires that we used from two weeks ago. Um, where that wasn't grooving or anything like that. It was just simply grinding. So I'm fixing to start working on some brand new tires. So here is a brand new one that I'm fixing to work on. All the new ones are American Racers. We've got four. Are we doing all four of them, babe? Are we doing all four of them? Okay. So, no, just three, okay. I've got three brand new American Racers that we're fixing to prep, groove, stop, grind the whole nine yards. Um, I'm thankful they're American Racers because they're a whole lot easier to prep. So anyway, let's get busy on doing these American Racers. We're not gonna be down here super long tonight. Maybe an hour, hour and a half. So I need to get this done and get on it. So I'm gonna set you guys up on time lapse and let you watch the process a little bit. It usually takes me about an hour start to finish to do a brand new tire. Of course, I probably won't leave it on that entire time because it'll overheat, but I'll leave it on as long as I can. And then Brad over here, didn't even think about what he was doing. Um, Brad is under the car. I'll show you that over here. He's under the car checking nuts and bolts, WD-40 and everything, all the bars, make sure everything's free the way that it should be. So he's just nut and bolt and the normal maintenance this week. So that's what he's working on and I'm fixing to get to work on some tires. Checking toe on our Hammond setup plates here. How's it looking, babe? So the beauty of this, is I know my center of the centers. So I've got this piece of this cheap piece of aluminum metal folded mm -hmm. over, center to center, drilled out. So the car's like it's set at ride height. I can put my Hammond plates on, level the plates up. Easy to check the toe. Okay. Quick way to check to see if anything's bent or not as well. That's what he was talking about. Just a neat little trick there. All right, so there is check and toe with our Hammond setup plates. So I've, I've worked on the shock, or shock, my gosh. I've worked on this tire. So we've got it somewhat done. I've still got to grind, stop, all that stuff, but anyway, I'm gonna put this on charge because I left it on time lapse a little longer than what I had anticipated and uh, it's getting really hot and the battery's draining. So I'm gonna it, turn it on charge for just a little bit and then we'll come back to you. Cause she is probably in heat again. But anyway, that's gonna finish us up today. I got the tire somewhat uh, closer to being done. I still gotta grind 
and sop it. Brad got all the nuts and bolts checked, got the front end checked, everything checked out good. Um, and so that's gonna finish this up today. Appreciate all of our partners, Warp Speed Performance Parts, Barry Apparel Co., WJI Enterprises, Fat Daddy's Crew out of Lafayette, Indiana, Next Gen Services, Vincent Race Engine, Pinsky Shocks, Gorsuch Performance, Brand Transmission, All South Signs and Graphics, BB Design, thanks to all of those great folks that help us out each and every year. Um, we will see you guys back in the shop tomorrow. Monday. I'm trying to, my days are mixing up. We've been out the shop every day. Um, so we'll be out here tomorrow on Monday and uh, see you then. All right, hey guys, it's uh, Monday. We're back out here in the shop. Today's plan is to get some sheet metal work done and to try to get as much tires done as we can. I'm sure we won't be out here very late because Brad pre ordered uh, the new EA Sports, the college football. Um, so he'll want to go in there and play it. He hasn't played it yet. So we're gonna try to get as much done as we can get done. Here's the body panels that are all bent up. This is just the quarters, still got the doors too. So lots of sheet metal and two more tires to do. So this one here, I've just gotta grind it and sop it and it'll be finished, grind, sop and wrap it. It'll be finished. And then we got two over here that I've gotta do the whole works to. So a little bit of work to do, uh, but we'll tune in and show you guys what we've got going on. So I showed you Brad working on some sheet metal work there a little bit earlier on time lapse. So while he was doing that, I was working on tires. I got finished up a tire and then got another tire completely done. Got the last and final tire here on the stand. So I'll get that finished, started and finished tomorrow. Um, he's still got to put the right, right side door on. But we're not going to do that just yet because we're still waiting on the motor and a hose and some various odd and end stuff so we're not going to do that just to make it a little bit easier to get to everything should have the motor in the next couple of days hopefully fingers crossed our plan is this weekend to be at smoky mountain friday and saturday friday is just going to be a makeup race from where we got rained out a couple of couple months ago at this point um and then saturday will be a topless outlaw race as of right now the weather is not looking promising i think it's 75 percent 75 percent chance of rain the rest of the week um, I know here I think it's 40 tomorrow and then the rest of the week here is 70. So I don't think the way weather's looking favorable for anywhere. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to all of our partners. Warp Speed Performance Parts, Barry Apparel Co., Fat Daddy's Coretta Lafayette, Indiana, WJI Enterprises, Next Gen Services, Vincent Race, and Pinsky Shocks, Brand Transmission, Gorsuch Performance, All South Signs and Graphics, and Baby Designs. Thanks to all of those guys and thank you guys for watching.